I'm Nicky van der Perk. Uh, I'm from HP Poly and I'm now featured in the Jan Zoetemelk's the Coffee Tech Break. And I'm going to show you some really good solutions today. So what I'm going to talk about today is about Zoom Rooms and specific future, a specific future called Zoom Rooms Intelligent Director. So you, you will see the setup right here. We got a great 21 by 9 screen. This is a Jupyter 21 by 9 screen, uh, which is supported in the Zoom Room software nowadays. And what you will also see, you will see three times a Poly Studio E70. And the great thing about this, and I'm going to talk a lot more about this, but the main thing is that you are being captured as a participant inside the room, wherever you are sitting. Also, if you're being blocked for the main camera, the bottom camera in this case, if you're being blocked by a person, because I'm sitting here, somebody's sitting next to me, another camera will take over and actually pick you up. Because you have got those three cameras in three different angles, and what I'm going to do now is, because if we are in tech, right? And we're going to do a coffee tech break. We are going to show you how to calibrate and how to set up this environment. Um, the setup we got here is an HP Zoom Room PC. It's the G9 with an i7, uh, the 12th generation, but also the 16 gig of RAM. And you need a lot of processing power to do this. One of the great things is we've got three Studio E70s, which are beautiful cameras, having two 4K sensors. And with Zoom Rooms, you can have uh, the cropping of the camera over the multiple people in the, in the meeting room. You can do it over the 4K sensor. So, but you need those USB 3.0 or above cables. And they are connected to the Zoom Room PC. And on the Zoom side, it will crop from the 4K camera sensor, which is a great thing because then you can use really the full capability of the cameras, what they are designed for. So we've got a setup here with the TC10 as a Zoom Rooms controller, uh, but also a Trio C60, which is also set up as a Zoom Rooms controller. You can have multiple uh, devices like this. We are support up to five Zoom Room controllers inside of this, uh, this environment. Uh, obviously, Trio is now used for microphone and speaker pickup, uh, or microphone pickup and speaker output. And in here on the TC10, we are going to set up the Zoom Rooms Intelligent Director calibration. So what we're going to do is go into the settings of the device. And this is an administrator setting, which you need to do the first time you install this room. So it's very important first to physically mount the cameras the right way. So have the left camera pick up people on the right side of the table, have the right camera pick up people on the left side of the table, and the middle camera basically using the, the, the narrow angle, uh, the wide angle field of view to capture people closer to the, to the, uh, to the camera. So I'm going to here push the settings button right here. And what you will see, I'm going to the camera settings. So you see here are different uh, camera sources, E70 left, E70 right, and center. But in here, we also got intelligent director, and it's now uncalibrated. So what I'm going to do is to press the calibrate button. I'm going to have to enter a passcode, so I'm going to do my secret uh, hand before it. There we go. Now we are in the calibration process. And what you immediately see is you got a visual representation of Intelligent Director calibration. So for an administrator or an installer, it's quite easy to see what you have to do. But you do know, need to know what you are doing. So in here on the touch controller, you've got uh, a text representation of what you need to do. So you need to select every camera to make sure that they are positioned the right way. So you're basically going to set up presets for every camera. So I'm going to press the center camera, and you see that that camera is using uh, or is located for getting people closer to the table because you want to use the wide angle field of view camera. And for the camera on the left, what you will see over there, there you will see that the Studio E70 on the left side, it needs to use the top camera. So the top camera is a narrow angle field of view camera which is precision, so it can actually pick up people probably up to about seven, half, eight meters away. And what we want to make sure is when you look at the camera image on that side, you want to see a shift between the camera. So what you're going to do is you zoom in, and at some point, there's a shift. Now you are sure that you're using the narrow angle camera. And you want to position it that it can get the people on the right side of the table, but also you want to capture people when they are standing. So I'm going to save the camera position. 
And the next thing I thought I, I, I'm going to do, because the right camera needs to pick up those cameras, uh, those people, but I'm pressing the next button right here, and then you see that you need to physically calibrate the system. Basically what you want to do is you walk around the conference room where you've set this up, and you're going to, uh, to see green squares around every person in the meeting room, but you have to do this as one person because you need to be located where you want to be framed inside the picture. So I'm going to press the start button right here and you will look at the screen. You'll see the green rectangles around the persons which are there. So you need to make sure that you are captured at least with two cameras all the time where you want to be tracked. So I'm going to sit here and I see that I've got two cameras seeing me basically because, I got, because I've got three, uh, two rectangles around me. So I'm going to go to position over here and I see that I'm still being tracked also uh, with a green rectangle. But you also sometimes want to stand, right? So now I see that I'm a pretty tall guy. So I see on the left camera that I probably need to adjust the preset position a little bit. Um, but maybe I don't want to be tracked here, right? So then you need, don't need to do it. But if you want to be tracked also while you're standing, you need to do that. Then what I'm going to do here is press the finish button. And with the finish button, I'm going to finish the calibration. I'm going to focus on one little thing because what if you've got this three camera setup and you're standing right here because you're doing a local presentation. Uh, you want to point something out on the screen for the local people here, but also maybe for the remote audience because you're in that conference room. With Zoom Rooms Intelligent Director, you can now use these three cameras connected to the PC, but there's also a possibility to add a fourth camera, maybe set up at the back of the room, focusing on the actual presenter. So you get that four camera input, and with that four camera, you can put it in manual presets, or you can use group framing, or people framing, or even speaker framing with that fourth camera next to all of these three cameras right here for Intelligent Director. I'm really enthusiastic about this. I hope you all do. And I hope you really enjoyed watching this video, how to calibrate this system. Because I'm, I think it's amazing technology what we have right here. So thank you for watching. And make sure to subscribe to Jan Zoetmelk's Tech Break, Coffee Tech Break.